Hello, this is Retro Markey, and this is a BBC test card. And on the right hand side, we've got a virtual remote control that you'd see on a typical TV, at least back in the day. And here we go, this is CFAX. So, I'm a big fan of Teletext, I really miss it. And there have been some developments in getting Teletext back onto British TVs using a Raspberry Pi, for example. Uh, but you do need a Teletext TV for that, but what that does is stream up-to-date data. Now this is going through a web browser, so you don't need any hardware, any software knowledge, it's completely free. Uh, as you can see there, Friday 4th of June, that's 2021. If we go to page 620, there we go, we've got TV listings, we'll go to six page 621. So just like the old system, the pages take a while to load, so you have to be a little bit patient. But this is absolutely fantastic. I love Teletext. There we go, Dragon's Den, Master Chef, etc. So I actually have a Teletext app on my Android phone, um, which does give me news in English, but it's from Finland because um, Teletext in the UK and CFAX, etc., has been shut down. So this is a way of bringing it back to life and it's absolutely fantastic. As you can see, that is the news on the 4th of June 2021. Most of it's about Boris Johnson and Covid, which is... I don't know what to say about that. So just for the record, I've decided to do this as an off-the-cuff video. I did have some ideas to do an edited video, but I wanted to just show the experience. Um, live so to speak. There we go, some news about Covid in India, it's very very sad indeed. As you can see we can get uh, BBC News in Teletext now, up to date, which is fantastic, or TFAX I should say. The other thing we can do, I didn't show at the beginning, but the channels on the remote control there are BBC One, Two, ITV etc, so there are some variations here. There we go, more news about Covid. It's like there's no, there's no other news at the moment. It's just one virus and that's the only thing that's happening on the planet of 7.5 billion, whatever it is. Anyway, let's keep politics out of this. So as you can see from users who've not used this so much, where it says news index, headlines, main menu, next news in colour, if you click those colours corresponding on the remote control there in the right hand side, you can zip straight to those pages, of course you can just type the page numbers in. So do I recommend this? Hell yeah, I've been looking at this every day. Now I will say, uh, it's not the most up to date thing in the world, for that you'd have to go to a toxic, disgusting, horrible place like Twitter or Facebook. But other than that, it certainly tickles my retro bones. So we can see in the index we've got TV listings, BBC News. Now the UK weather on page 401 I found wasn't working. Here we go, the block party. So Teletext is alive and well. I think this is because of the Spectrum Next. I think it was these guys who are kind of bringing this back to life. Along with a couple of other guys who've been tinkering with hardware, in including sort of um, teletext decoders and the like. So back to the uh, intro page there. So there's all sorts of things you can look on here. And I don't know, if you're anything like me, hopefully you're not, but if you happen to be anything like me, then you're going to love digging around this. Um, oh, emergency broadcast system. Oh look, Covid again! Is there anything happening in the last two years besides this virus? If so, please leave in the comments. So here we have some artwork. It looks like two cars crashing into each other. This is the thing I love about Teletext. There's something about... I've always been fascinated with art um, and also computer art that recreates the high resolution world in, a, in the most simplistic form, which Teletext basically does. Uh, not sure what this is all about. Some kind of puzzle, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> As seen on TV. 
So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I could show you tons of footage that I made. I was digging around on this and got quite hooked, in fact. I thought I'd record 10 minutes of footage and ended up digging around for hours. But I thought I'd leave this video nice and short so you can have a little play with it yourself. It's not difficult. Just go to the link in the video description and have some fun with it. And I really encourage you to use this because um, I would love to see Teletext really come back. And it has. But of course, it'd be nice if more people used it. Um, oh, we've got some test cards here. So it'd be nice if more people used it because it might encourage more and more people to upload content. It'd be nice to have uh, weather on here. I'd really like some weather reports. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. Well, thanks ever so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Retro Markey, out.